Hello friends, welcome to Genius Books. I am Vinod Karkor, I am Smok. We will continue in this class 2 from where we had left in our class 1. We were solving 2023 IS preliminary exams paper 2 that is Seaside. Okay. From this we are first solving the problems from mathematics that is quantitative aptitude and whatever is there in your syllabus. We have seen this in our uh, previous class. Yeah, you will be having 80 questions altogether. Each question carries 2.5 marks, altogether 200 marks. You are supposed to get only 33% marks in this paper so that your paper 1 will be considered for your qualification to mains. That means in this paper of 200 marks, paper 2, you have to get only 66 marks. That is very simple. And see here, basic numerous general mental ability and basic numeracy. This part we are covering here. General mental ability and basic numeracy. Okay, so they are very simple ones. That what we have seen in the previous class, all those problems are very very simple. And in today's class, we are going to look into other problems. Let us start with yeah. This is Pythagoras. Okay, showing his famous right triangle. Pythagoras's time, I think you. I hope you know. Five seven nine BC. He was born in. 579 BC. This is Euclid, is 300 BC. He is junior to Pythagoras. Okay. So, numbers means we cannot, I told you in my previous class, number means Pythagoras, Euclid, Eratosthenes, so many great mathematicians. They were not just mathematicians, they were philosophers, scientists, all together. They were called polymaths. Okay. Fine, now let us move into today's next problem. This is question 5 in my this series. 28 is actually 28 is the question number in question paper. I am taking this question from Question paper of 2023 IS preliminary exam D series. Okay, D series question paper. In that, this is question number 28. Okay, fine. See what is this? You have to. What is the unit digit in the expansion of this number? In my previous class, I had given this problem as assignment for you. I don't know whether you have solved it or no. Fine then. Now this is always observe for unit places digit. Here it is 2. So forget about other uh, places, other digits. What is there in unit place 2 is there. So whatever is raised to 2, that is 9 into 7 into 5 into 3. 1 you can ignore because anything multiplied by 1 is that thing only. Okay. Now this is the unit places digit that is 2. So here one important formula you can say is you have to follow the pattern of power of 2. Power of 2 means what? 2 raised to 1 is 2. 2 raised to 2 is 4. 2 raised to 3 multiplying to 3 times that means okay it is 8. 2 raised to 4 it is 16. 2 raised to 5 multiply 2 to 16 you are getting 32. So you are getting this pattern see 2 4 8 6 again 2 is coming in in its place. So this pattern will continue 2, 4, 6, 8. So this pattern 
is very very important here so it keeps on repeating that 24682468 that means after every fourth step the pattern is repeating for the powers of 2 so here 2 raised to 9 into 7 into 5 into 3 what is that first you find out what is this 9 into 7 into 5 into 3 you have to be very very good at multiplication table okay please uh, memorize or commit to your memory all the multiplication uh, table from at least from you know 1 you know 2 from 3 to 30 okay please write all these multiplications and paste it paste it on your study rooms wall keep on memorizing this if i ask you what is 7 into 8 you should be able to say it immediately okay so that it will help you solving such problems saving time okay so 9 into 7 is what you should say immediately what is 9 into 7 and what is 7 into 5 7 into 5 is 35 okay 35 into 3 is what so in that case if you are not able to recall those uh, tables what you have to do 35 into 3 is what say how many tens are there in 35 3 tens are there so that is 30 30 into 3 is how much 90 how many uh, fives are there I mean, how many ones are there in this thirty-five? Five ones are there. So, five into three, that is fifteen. This will be hundred and five. Into nine, you have multiplied five, seven, and three. You have to multiply nine to this hundred and five. How do how are you going to do this? You have to do it very fast. Okay, first hundred into nine is what nine hundred. Five into nine is what forty-five. Add those two, so you are getting nine forty-five. Okay, now you have to calculate what is two raised to nine forty-five. Okay, so two raised to nine forty-five, you have to calculate how you are going to do that. Okay, up to two raised to eight, two raised to ten. Okay. But two raised to nine forty-five is time-consuming, so you are not supposed to do that entire thing. What you do now? I need, I want this number. So what you do? See this pattern. Every fourth step, this pattern is repeating. So because of that, you have to divide this nine forty-five by four. You have to do it. Without uh, taking much time, okay. So ninety nine forty five divided by four is what? Four two is eight. One is carrying and it will become fourteen. So four three is twelve. Again two is remainder the twenty five. So four four is sorry four six is twenty four. So this is two thirty six. Remainder will be one. This is what the division is all about. So, what is the remainder here? Remainder is one. This is remainder, right? So, remainder is one means what? You have to look for the exponent of that two's power. Where that one is, that is here. So two raised to one will give you two. So this is what you are going to get when you expand this entire number. Whatever that number, I, I am not bothered about that number. I am bothered only about unit places. Number that digit. Okay, so I am considering only this two. 
I don't want any of these numbers. So 2 raised to 945, when you simplify this, when you expand this, whatever number you are getting, that numbers in its place, what it have, what digit it will contain, that is the answer for this. So I hope you understood. What you have to do, you have to take the power exponent of that particular, this is called base number, okay, 570, 57242, that is 57242. This is base number here and whatever power is there, exponent, that you have to multiply that many times this number, okay. It is a very huge number. So whatever you are getting, that number's unit places digit, that is what they have asked here. So that is how you have found out. So remember this 2's power. 2 raised to 1 is 2, 2 raised to 2 is 4, 2 raised to 3 is 8, 2 raised to 4 is 16. So 6, 8, 4, 2. You are getting 2, 4, 8, 6. This pattern will continue after every fourth step. So when you divide this exponent, 2 raised to 945, so this exponent will give you remainder 1. So equate this to that 2's power, whatever you are getting there, 2. So this will be the unit places digit. Very simple. Okay. So you follow this, uh, you try to solve such problems. Let this num base number be any kind of number. If it has 2 in its units place, then you have to follow this method. So this is the answer. I hope you understood. Okay, now moving to next question, question number 6. This is question number 37 in D series of the actual question paper. What is this? A number n is found by writing 9 for 99 times. Oh my god. What is the remainder if n is divided by 13? It seems very difficult, right? No, it's very simple. These are all problems on remainders and patterns, that's all. Nothing else. It's all. It's like kind of game, you know. Number games. So, now the thing here is one number is formed by using just 9. Okay, writing it 9, 9, sorry, 99 times. That means what? How you are going to start this? Very simple. Write 9, that number is what? Given number is 9. 9, 9. If I write only 3 times, it will become 999. If I write only 2 times, 99. Like this, I have to write it for 99 times. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no need of writing all 99 9s. This will be my 99th 9. Okay. So, this number Whatever number, I cannot read that. Okay, nobody can read it. Okay, you can read, but... Okay, now the thing here is, this is the number. Using only one digit, that is 9. It is used for 99 times. That is this number. So, I hope you understood the problem. Okay, it's very simple. If I write one time, it is 9. If I write 2 times, 99. If I write 3 times, 999. If I write 4 times, 9999. If I write 5 times, it is 99999. Like this, 99 times I have written this 9. This is what that number is. Okay, that's not the end of the story, my dear friends. You have to divide this number by 13. After dividing this number, whether you are getting a remainder or no, you have to get because they have asked for that and they have given four options. So, 
you are getting some remainder what is that remainder they are asking <laughs> it seems very difficult right yeah at outside yeah when you look at this problem you think it is very very difficult uh maybe that's because of this kind of difficulty level people that candidates have gone for court to scrap this entire csat paper from ias preliminary exam okay they have protested in delhi recently they have protested a huge number of students were gathered in that um, protest okay so their demand is they don't want to uh, they don't want csat paper in ias preliminary exam they just want simple things and they want to qualify and they want to become ias officers i don't know why it is so what is difficulty in this uh, in this particular problem so numbers division remainder pattern if you is very very interesting it's math is like playing some sports okay okay whatever it is we'll solve this problem uh my dear friends the thing is there is one principle okay if any digit how many digits are there from say 1 to 9 or 0 to 9 you can say 1 to 9 so you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 only these digits are there okay you have to take any one digit and repeat it so many times here nine nine has been taken and repeated for 99 times and they have written this number okay in this case you please note down this principle okay any digit i'll write here for your any i write it in a very nice handwriting okay you should be legible you need not be an artist okay any any digit repeated p minus 1 times okay is completely divisible by p this p now what is this p p is a prime number this is very very important not only that it should be greater than 5 i hope this sign you know greater than if you don't remember take your hand use your hands whatever left hand you make it this four finger and thumb like this this is less because left hand this is more this is great so this p this prime number should be greater than 5 okay this is a very very important or very simple formula which you have to use for this particular problem what this principle says any digit repeated p minus 1 times is completely divisible by p where p is a prime number which is greater than 5 fine use this formula here okay now any digit what digit is used here 9 that is any digit and it is repeated for 99 times here so in our theorem or sorry not theorem principle one formula p minus 1 times is completely divisible by p so p is a prime number which is greater than 5 so here now what we should do the thing here is p minus 1 then it should be larger than 5 now what is this 13 13 is a prime number okay 
okay here p is what p is 13 so p minus 1 will be 12 okay so 9 if you repeat it 12 times that number will be divided by completely divided by 13 okay I have written this 9 12 times here okay this number whatever this number okay it can be divided completely that means without giving any remainder so this number is divisible by 13 if I write it if I write 9 12 times then it is divisible but here we have written 99 times 9 so that 99 contains how many 12s I am talking about multiple of 12 so 12 into 8 is how much you have to memorize tables it is very simple ok you just recall whatever you have learned in your school time so 12 8s are 96 so my 99 contains 96 so the thing here is if I write 9 96 times this is my 96th 9 so this number is also divisible by 13 that is the idea here so after dividing my actual this number the first number that is 9 repeated 99 times this number if you divide it by 13 it will give you 999 as remainder ok so you have to divide this 999 by 13 to get the final answer let me rub this so that we can solve hope you understood ok so what we have done first we have written that number 9 repeated 99 times and our formula is any digit repeated p minus 1 times is divisible by p p is a prime number so here 96 time if I write 9 that is also divisible but we want 9 written 99 times so if you divide this number by 13 you are getting remainder as 999 because 3 is our remainder in this case so 999 finally you have to divide this by 13 you have to memorize all tables 13 tables what is this 13 7 the 91 ok so here 99 minus 91 8 will be parent. so 89 13 6 are what 78 and you are getting 11 as your remainder so this is the final answer so it is here no this is your answer I hope you understood how to solve this problem okay so what I have done here you, you have to follow that uh, formula any digit not necessarily 9 7 if I repeat it p minus 1 times suppose some uh, prime number you can take yes 7 it should be more than 5 then that number can be divided by p that taken prime number that's all about this problem and uh, I think I will end this 
class here only we can continue in my next class okay fine then see you in my next class i hope you understood this problem uh, okay uh, if you have any problem please if you have any doubt you please comment subscribe to my channel watch my videos i am going to give you wonderful insights if you come across any doubt in my class in my solutions you please write a comment in my uh, channel then i can attend to that doubt there only or in my next class okay thank you very much for watching please uh, watch my next classes also subscribe to this channel make your friends also subscribe see you in my next class thank you